Okay, I got part of the order back after it was uh, messed up, but I'm not going to go into that. The rest of the order will arrive next week, but I got a couple of them today, so here it is for its size and volume, the most powerful permanent magnet in the world. What I did also to add a booster to it, I use the word booster in the, the vernacular here, is I added a two by two by one inch to the base of the pyramid. Uh, this is actually just aluminum tape. It doesn't affect anything. I just did that to cover up the seam. And here it is. It is, right, it's uh, three inches tall and two by two at the base. And oh my God, it's so powerful. I'm actually, let me zoom in a little bit. Here we go. So I can actually back my recording device up so I don't ruin it. Um, interestingly enough, and I predicted that, of course, is that uh, if you bring the tip uh, near your uh, lips or nose, it uh, feels like someone is uh, running a, a feather across. Because actually we have uh, really powerful... Uh, more so than anywhere else in the human body, electroreceptors, the same way sharks and other animals do in the tips of their nose and, and their lips. And also, too, if you run it across the wrist, you can actually feel it. Um, I accurately predicted what it would look like, and I'll show you later this evening, what it, look, uh, what it looks like underneath the supercell magnetic uh, field viewer. It's uh, very interesting. I'll let you guess on what you think it looks like, but... Uh, here it is. I uh, it actually the uh, the field is only very very slightly different when I added the two by two by one inch uh, booster uh, to the base. Um, so we actually have three magnets here. What is it doing? It's acting as a uh, a uh, double point source. A magnet, by definition, uh, qualitatively, of course, is a point source emission. For geomagnetic precession, what actually defines a magnet, of course is not uh, quantitative, it's qualitative. What we actually have here is a double point source. Each and every magnet is a point source, but what we actually have is a multiplicative of point source uh, magnetic emission where the magnetism is really being funneled right to a point right here, right there. And uh, it's actually quite evident underneath the supercell as far as the field geometry, especially the side profile is very evident. Actually using magnetic viewing film, and I'll show you that uh, later today also, we actually have a distortion of the plane of inertia is actually bowed like this on each and every side. And it lo looks the same even without this two by two by one inch base, which I'm never going to be able to remove. It's bowed like this on every corner, so. But there it is, folks. Um, I've actually never seen, including the people that uh, had these uh, magnets manufactured, which I don't want to mention their name, I've not seen them actually use this with this with this. And uh, this is it. This is the, uh, for its size and volume, the most powerful permanent magnet on Earth, undeniably so. And, oh my God, when you get this tip clock, that's <laughs> so powerful. <laughs> Uh, I'll show it to you under the uh, Supercell viewer later. And thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, you can always click the link below. Let me know. What you I've actually got over 40 experiments to do with this. And also, once I get the other pyramidals in, there's really just two more pyramidals to come in. Meaning, by saying that, I mean two complete. Since this is one piece and this is one piece. And this is also one piece. But I'm only getting two more sets of these in so thank you so much for watching and uh, can you say it say world's most powerful permanent magnet for its size and volume on earth period this is no different than a fireman's hose if you want a perfect sort of simplex analogy if you don't understand uh, the magnetism theory and whatnot that i've been writing in the book it's just literally like a fireman's hose where the pressure is greatly increased by uh, drawing uh, the force flux to the uh, smallest possible point. And there it is right there, three millimeters by three millimeters. Pipe.